Fable TV. Country's thoughts and energy have been dedicated to this unexpected event. Not long after the incident, comedian D.L. Hughley would take to Instagram and offer his thoughts on the situation. He would repost the infamous video of Trump being taken away by his Secret Service with a bloody ear. Hughley's caption read, The double fist pump at the end for the crowd was the perfect touch. And scene. If Tubi had an award show, this should definitely be nominated in the scripted reality category. And from I think that brother D.L. Hughley is going to regret those posts. First, be sure to wipe your feet. You in the House of Revolution. That means hit the like button, like, share, subscribe, support the platform. I think that brother D.L. Hughley, and I do call him brother, because the video was removed. They say I bullied D.L. and Dr. Umar Johnson. I'm calling you doctor. I'm not bullying you. And I'm calling you D.L. No slander in your name or nothing like that. We're going to give you straight news on here. Is that okay, brother D.L.? King of comedy? I think that the king of comedy, one of the kings, going to regret this condescending post about the scripted reality category when we're talking about people lost their life on this day that wasn't scripted yeah no man know at the hour it was written in the book of life scripted by the most high but it wasn't scripted by the hands of man brother D.L. Hughley if that's what you was insinuating and I think that brother D.L. you have walked right into the same trap that Another big name celebrity made Alex Jones when he said that the Sandy Hook shooting was scripted. Yes, and he said it was scripted and it wasn't real, you know, like you saying, scripted reality category. It cost him a billion dollar empire, Brother Hughley. Uh, Brother Hughley, the reason I'm telling you Prayers because nation. it's a suffering family and a community and a nation in mourning right now, brother. Like what was going on in Sandy Hook. When Alex Jones came out and he said some similar things and posted some similar things like you saying, Brother Hughley. But you see, it cost him a billion dollar empire because the family that was on the other end who had lost loved ones were able to prove they actually lost their loved ones and it wasn't scripted. The court sided with the family. Brother Hughley, you have made a multi-million dollar mistake. Protecting his family. Corey Confrontore used his body to protect his wife and his daughter, shielding them from bullets. The act of bravery and also love is creating a groundswell of support across the country for Corey and also prayers nationwide for his family. He shielded his wife and daughter. He gave his life as the assassin was shooting in the crowd. A man lost his life, brother Hughley. Like the Sandy Hook kids actually did lose their lives. Alex Jones made a mistake of saying it was scripted. Like you said, brother Hughley. But now, we're getting a little background on what actually took place. And it is a man no longer here with us. A firefighter who served the community. Or they call him a girl dad. He was there to raise his two daughters. That for his wife. And at the end of his life he dove on them as bullets flew everywhere from a reckless psychopath shooting at the 45th president Mr. Hughley who you seem to have something personally against and I don't know if that's what drove you to make the statement that you made Mr. Hughley but I'm the one saying I think it's going to cost you millions of dollars family there are just so many pictures being released of course let's take a look at this picture all right Peter this man R.I.P. to this man now who didn't like where America was going and who just wanted to participate in the electoral process and who wanted to go hear what Trump had to say and see if that fit his life. And, 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 and he gave his life for one of those daughters and his wife. And then, dear Hickler, you come out and say this was scripted. Are you saying this man is still alive? What are you saying? Make it plain. Are you saying this man is still alive? This not true? Like Sandy Hook? Or is that what you're saying? I don't know. But just as a news reporter, I'm disgusted by what I've seen on that post, Mr. Hughley. And I please wish you would come out and renounce, denounce what you said, retract it. And please 
ask the family for forgiveness, Mr. Hughley. Now, financially, what y'all... That's not my business. That's not my business how you compensate, but it, it costs Alex Jones a billion dollar empire for saying that Sandy Hook was scripted when it actually was family in mourning. A nation is in mourning behind this man who lost his life, Mr. Hughley, from the assassin that day. And you said it was scripted, right? Recovery. Here is just one of them right here with his daughters. Mm. The governor of Pennsylvania calling him a girl dad, a former fire chief from Buffalo Township, an avid Trump supporter who was so excited about going to the rally. When he heard those shots fired, he threw himself in front of his family to protect them, losing his life in the process. The Buffalo Township Fire Department is remembering Corey as he was a hero. Greatest American hero. He took a, took a bullet for the president. Uh, I protected his family, uh, covered his family from gunfire. Um, he loved his family, loved his girls, they were his world. Um, loved the fire company. Um, he was a 30 year veteran of the department. And at least two other people were injured. 57-year-old David Dutch from New Kensington, Pennsylvania. CNN reporting that Dutch had to have two surgeries, one his liver and his chest. Mm. And then there's James Copenhaver. He was 74 years old of Moon Township, Pennsylvania. According to the Pennsylvania State Police, both were listed in stable condition as of stunt. Oh, you see that car right there, dear? They trying to get the police in the ambulance. They scared. A lot of people scared to move because they don't want to die. A lot of people would make the wrong move. The Secret Service and the police would definitely kill them in that moment of a, a, a bunch of action going on. But those other two men, elderly men, was in critical condition. They almost checked out themselves, Brother Hughley. They families going through a lot too. The community going through a lot. Mr. Hughley, what do you mean by staged? And you think this is some type of movie? Because you an actor, you think everything is a script? Sunday, but at one point you may remember they were listed as critical condition um, when this all started after the ass assassination attempt. So it appears that they are improving at this point. And right now the country is really coming together, offering support mm -hmm. to the victims and their families. I want you to take a look at this right here. Three point six million dollars been raised for those people. That's good work. Three point six million. That's good work. That's good work. Trump people put that together. Trump going to the funeral of the man who lost his life, Trump will be there. You know, Mr. Hughley, but what I'm saying is, will Mr. Hughley come out and retract his words? Now that we see a hero has fallen, protecting his wife and daughters. You nothing but a hero if you if bullets fly and you jump on your wife and daughter and you lose your life, because that means one of them could have lost their life. That's, he, he really loved them like he said he loved them. And they know that. I just hate that he had to lose his life going to participate in a political rally. That's crazy. And then after he lose his life in real life, then here come D.L. Hughley trying to score political points or something. I don't even understand what that was all about in a time of mourning. I see Amanda Seals came and backtracked and retracted because first she said the gun wasn't real, fake, paint, and all. Now she's came, I swore, I yes, gun was real, but hey, ho, just don't want to own up to, you shouldn't have jumped in this deep. Now you're going to have to know how to swim, Mr. Hughley, in these waters that you done got yourself into. It cost Alex Jones a billion dollar empire. We will be seeing where does this go and how will D.L. Hughley fare, you know, we know that he didn't had a lucrative career. Will he file chapter seven or whatever eleven bankruptcy to get out of this? Will he have to hide his money in shell companies and things of that nature like Alex Jones had to do? We don't know, but stay tuned, y'all. All right, Peter, this man, my condolences to the family. Cuff it. Follow me. In.